Uh, today we're here with a 722.6 transmission. Uh, this one's getting a full overhaul, but this one we're just gonna, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the oil pump. First thing to know about this job, obviously I'm already at the stage. Um, all that I've done here is remove the bell housing from the transmission. So obviously um, gotta remove the transmission, take the bell housing off. Behind me we have a W220 S65. Um, we're getting it all. So back to your Mercedes oil pump. Always replace all your hardware here. These are all torque old bolts. Um, when you're gonna take the bell housing out, you're gonna be removing these style bolts. They're a little larger, larger bolts. Don't take off your inside ones. I'll show you why in a second. They're actually what holds this to the bell housing. There's also gonna be two on the outside of the transmission. Don't forget them. You're gonna pry, you're gonna hit it. It's not gonna come off. You have to remove all these. When you're done with these, throw them in the garbage. They're junk. So we're gonna be putting in fresh Mercedes-Benz factory pump. Uh, behind me, I got the valve body out. Valve body out, just put some new shift solenoids in it. Um, got her down pretty much. We're gonna put some new frictions in it. Maybe I will do some more. If you guys wanna see some more, I have filmed some more of this job. Uh, but right now we're just gonna be taking this apart. So first thing you're gonna do when you get to this point, you're gonna be removing this ring. I've already slightly removed it. It's, you don't need to be real mean with it. You don't wanna bend this. Uh, unless you want to replace this too. So once you get that clip out, we're going to go ahead and remove our frictions. We're going to be very careful with these. You don't want to lose your stack. You want to just keep them, just keep them just like this and just put them aside for now. It's on something clean. Uh, just make sure you have something laying around that's somewhat clean to lay those on and do not disturb them. Just leave them the way they are. When you go to change them, then you can disturb them. But right now, if you get lost here, you'll know, you know what? I know where I was at. And those are all like that. So now that we're here, we just have an empty drum. I'm gonna get it off the ground. There's our oil pump bolts that you saw on the previous pump. All right. Once you get those frictions removed, you're gonna flip her over now. Back to her face. Back over now. We have our frictions removed, clean surface. Be careful if we're going to be reusing them. Definitely want to take a look at the frictions and then the metals and just make sure you have no scoring. Plenty of life left for the frictions. But now our main focus is going to be these six bolts. As you see, those six bolts right there are going to be these six bolt holes right there on the pump. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take, I believe, if I... All right, found the T45. So this is going to be a T45. We're going to remove those six bolts now um, once again. If you're not comfortable with power tools, don't use them. Don't use them. And now that I'm looking, I correct myself, it's actually seven bolts on this transmission. I believe on some of the other ones it is six. Um, but right now, we're just gonna remove those seven bolts and they are garbage. Do not reuse them, I promise. You will be doing this twice. The torque spec for these is very light. I don't know off the top of my head. However, I will put it in the um, I will put it in the description for you guys um, for any of you tackling this kind of job at home. Um, hopefully, if you're watching this video, you're in a shop and you have you know pro demand, all data, something of that capacity, um, and that that way you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you're gonna want to be careful here. Don't lose this guy. Be real careful. It will come off. It rarely does, but it can, and it has on me before so take your time just gonna take a little blow here we're not gonna hit anything in the transmission what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the top of the bolt just just give it slight taps you're gonna move it out you're gonna notice a little bit of resistance at first but you'll hear it you can hear it coming out now that resistance you're facing is actually the o-ring and there you go if you just heard that click it's actually that o-ring right here it's gonna be the seal for the pump um, so now, obviously, I, I didn't remove the bolts all the way. That way, the pump doesn't just fall out onto the ground. Obviously, we don't want this, we don't want that. Just in case there's anything behind the pump. So now I'll remove every one but one. Remove my loose guys that I remember I had loose. And guys, please do not reuse these bolts. They're garbage. Just like the other ones we talked about, they're garbage. Now. Don't reuse them. If you get Mercedes parts, it will give you the proper hardware to get the job done without having to reuse hardware. Or what Mercedes-Benz clarifies is hardware you can't use again. 
obviously if you're stuck at home and you're not exactly near a Mercedes dealership, you're gonna have to do what you gotta do, but I would highly suggest against using these ones twice. These ones are a little more uh, strong, I would say, than these ones. Uh, I have seen these snap just going back to the factory specification that they were tightened to originally. They will snap, the head will come clear off. Um, I hope that I don't prove, you know, prove you wrong if you think I'm wrong, but it has happened to me. I'm sure it'll happen to you. So now we're gonna pull the pump out. Take these bolts, drop that one. So how I like to get this pump out, so I'm actually gonna wedge the bell housing. Take something around here. I'm just gonna wedge that housing up. Take this little box guy. Grab about the snout. Just kind of prop it up like that. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna take your T50, or 245, I'm sorry. We're just gonna drop that right on out of there without it hitting the ground. And there you are, folks. 722.6 transmission oil pump. We're gonna reverse and uh, we're gonna reinstall it with a reverse procedure. Put all back together. Uh, don't forget to put your frictions back in. Check your clips and everything. And uh, I'm assuming if you did, uh, if you're taking your drums out, then you remove the valve body. Make sure to keep it super clean. Um, and you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.